right, my boys. Welcome back to another part of Hogwarts Legacy. Let's continue on. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Eldritch Diggory's portrait in the common room told me about his great niece, Helen. His great niece? Yes, she used to be an aura. Well, she took me to Azkaban to meet Anne Thisbe. You went to Azkaban? Quite an experience. But you see, Anne knew Richard Jackdaw before he died, so I had to find his ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? <laughs> she was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. All right, we just pretty much explain. But we had to go through. <laughs> the room is called the map chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. <laughs> So that's how you do it. Oh, okay, okay. I was wondering why I couldn't open them. Just gotta sneak up on it. Okay. To think it was beneath us all this time. This look good. I ain't gonna lie to you. If only you were here to see this. Now you appear. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the portkey, 
and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news, indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? Okay. I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. <laughs> Oh, man. You said that you know that tower. <clears throat> what can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Alright. Dang. <laughs> right. This still looks cool though. Like, Jesus. This is insane. And he's just still there posting up. Look at him, bro. Alright, it's been a hot minute, but we managed to reach here. Good lord. <laughs> yep, this game has a lot of shit to do. Golly. Alright, let's start. Let's start. Over here. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way, and I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Wait, uh, <laughs> I almost forgot the um, what to use it on. I might use this for like, yeah, like shit like this. I think that's better. Like that. Okay. There we go. We 
quickly now. Yeah, we we know we know about that one. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Petrificus Totalus. Oh yeah. Well I like done. that. Dang, we turned that man to, to Jesus. Alright. We just need to be stealthy. I can be stealthy. Uh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. <laughs> All right. I love this uh, ability, bro. Orders directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? What the? I will draw blood. You won't last long. Let me Let's get this. Rob, Rob, why you coming back this way? Let me Oh, man. Close. Looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. Never. An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Rebellion. Noise. Rebellion. I wonder who this is. With robes like that, it could be anyone. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. 
Command it to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. Alrighty! Damn! He left an earth. A reservoir of ancient magic. Downstairs, near the entry. I mean, uh, we, we I did it already, but, you know, I couldn't do nothing about it. It's over here, and let's go! Oh, I just have to push through, huh? <laughs> the first trial. It is almost, it's almost four o'clock in the morning, and I do not know how, what, what to say. I might just, uh, I might just, uh, just, uh, leave this. I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. I might just have to, uh, freaking call it a day and then record this part again. Uh, well, probably tomorrow or something. I don't know. But let's see what we gotta do here. Rebellion. Wow, a whole lot of nothing. Huh? Never oh, shit. At least I know what to expect this time. Well, we gotta defeat these bastards. Mm -mm. Ooh. Ah, damn. Ooh. Oh, my lord. Ooh. I forgot I had that spell. Oh. oh, I didn't know I could use that egg. Catch and throw a disarmed weapon. How do you do that? Tell me how you do that. Ah, more puzzles. Nice. What the fuck? I've never seen this shit before. Okay. Ooh. I'm trying to suck up through my uh, spells. Damn it. Alright, teleport. Alright. I saw the R1. Okay, I see. <laughs> I did not know that. I am a noob. I am tired. And... There we go. That's all there is to it. Just... Just, um... Different perspectives, if you know what I mean. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the brick. I'll never get used to these floors. Whoa! That's crazy! Oh man. Oh, oh, there goes my, there goes, there goes my mic. Oh my god. Let me take two enemies simultaneously. Alright. I 
and collect these. Okay. More of them. Ooh. I wish I could just like. Oh yeah, that's that's nice right there. Ooh, ah, damn. Gotcha. Oh yeah, I love that. I love that move. Oh, got him. Ah, oh, you messed up the combo. You messed up the combo, man. We still did it, though. That means there must be something big going on here. Oh, five Wuggle Potions? Yeah, there's going to be a fucking fight here. There's going to be a fucking fight here. Holy moly. All right, let's go. Look at this. Okay, I do. I think I do. Uh, there we go. I think that's their weakness. Quote unquote. Uh, uh. Oh shit. I'm doing. I'm doing work though. Never mind. Oh my lord! Get rid of this big guy! Oh my god, they do it so like... Like... I oh don't know, they do it so uh... So fast, I can't even um... <gasps> oh! You thought me up! Oh, got he! Oh, ooh, protect me! Oh, I, I did it. <laughs> Once you get the hang of it, it oh nope, never mind. Bad guy. Whoa. Ah. Gotcha. Ooh, that was close. What in the Lord's name? Damn it. How? How is this not how is this possible? No way, right? Alright. Let me see. Let me see if I can. There's no way. There's there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I'm hitting it with with all I can and it's not working. See, it's not working. I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, the color, the color, I get it. The color. You should have told me it was the color. Oh my God, I saw, I feel so dumb now. That was close. I watched this, watch this. Oh. Woo! Stupid five beer. Alright, watch this. Alright. Ooh! And this now! You could told, man. I'm so dumb. Oh my god. Like, dude. I was wondering. I was wondering why I wish I had those wiggle, wiggle field potions. Oh my god. 
Oh, damn. Another pensive. Before we do that, identify face item. Ooh. All right, let's see what's going on here. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. <sighs> it is tempting, I know to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor what the? Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Oh, that sounds like us. Damn. I was gonna I was gonna get into it. <laughs> Another memory. Now to find a way out of there. I was for sure, I was I was for sure just sitting back and listening. Damn, we already going to the map chamber? Yeah, yo. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts, with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen 
traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. Aw, oh, man! We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think that there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. <laughs> of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... What the fuck? What do you want? Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. That's a key. Oh, it's autumn. It's autumn. Oh, my gosh. Yo. Yo. That's crazy. All right. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. It is autumn. It looks kind of look kind of look kind of good, though. I ain't going to lie to you, though. I ain't going to lie to you, though. But let's see what this uh, class has in store for us, bruh. This will be the last uh, quest we're going to do for the end of this part. But let's see what it's all Welcome, about. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous. Especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Poppy! Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! <laughs> Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye on Gerald. Uh, <laughs> I just met a guy named Gerald. <laughs> Excuse my brush. Just be gentle. Okay. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. Tap. I like to think it in real okay. experience. Oh, okay, so we can brush. Oh, we can groom. What the fuck? Okay, we're going to do it on you. Uh, brush. Now we got to feed. That's we got to. I'm sure he feels much better. Now, how do we I feed this motherfucker? Would you mind giving. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, we gotta feed him too? Oh my lord. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities. <laughs> ambition. And what? friendliness. Good work, everyone. Now, 
Let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Okay, they're like dogs, I, I think. Let's hope. Man, it's uh oh, oh shit. Couple of leaves. Oh shit, hold on. Get me a few hold on. at least. Enough to buy something for honey jigs. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. Tuss Pachilia Poppy. Worries about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <laughs> Yo. W Presto. <laughs> Let's go. W Presto. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Coaches in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Coaches in Thank training? Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Jack. What would you like me to do next, Professor? Assist Miss Sweeting at the measle enclosure. She will need help brushing and feeding them. You will find it is similar to your work with the puff skins. Alright, bet. Alright, do I just... I can just pretty much do it far away, right? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. These was really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. Yeah, stop flirting me, bitch. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. All right, what you, what you need? Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? It's pretty lit. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, <clears throat> they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate <laughs> matters that she we can it. control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. I mean, all right. What the fuck? What do you, what do you, what do you want, little girl? You need something, Poppy. Thank you again. For saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. Bobby's a real one. That's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Stop talking like that, damn it. <laughs> All right. Just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I 
think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Stop talking like that, man. <laughs> God damn. Quite the weather we're having. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Calm down, calm down, hold on. How you, how you go to these spots? Okay, where are you taking me? Shit, I can't. Oh, there you go, there you go. I can't use nothing, damn it! Oh, man, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, I, I just, I wanted to collect us. <laughs> Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. I forgot that the camera does that on his own, so I'm gonna let the camera do the work a little bit, you know? Stand back. Alright, what's up? What's up? What's going on here? You look like Ellen DeGeneres. Hey, my boy! I think I know what those are. Those are. Please meet High Ring. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. You gotta bow to them, right? You gotta, you gotta bow. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on. He is very cautious. <laughs> you wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. I did not heard not one thing she said. <laughs> All right, are we, are we done here? <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Oh. Yo, calm down, big boy. Oh. Damn! So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, mm. lingering, talking to people. Mm, those They're dirty bastards. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. I'll, I'll back see. up my girl Poppy. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. All right. All right, my boys, that's going to be the end of this uh, part right here. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. All right, my boys. Peace. Congratulations. Congratulations.